Grace Karthik, Assistant Professor, Libandok Chemistry in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. The topic is Nuclear Chemistry. Radioactivity. All the substances are made up of atoms. These have electrons around the outside and a nucleus in the middle. The nucleus consists of protons and neutrons and it's extremely small. In some types of atoms, the nucleus is unstable and will decay into the more stable atom. This radioactive decay is completely spontaneous. The energy that is released from the nucleus of an atom is radiation. When an unstable nucleus decay, there are three ways that it can do so. It may give an out alpha particle, beta particle and then gamma ray. Alpha particle. Alpha particle are made of, of two protons and two, nu two neutrons. This means that they have a charge of plus two and a mass of four. We can write them as two alpha power of four or because they have a same as helium nucleus. Alpha particles are relatively slow and heavy. They have a low penetrating power. So you can stop them with use the sheet of paper because they have a large charge alpha particles ionize other atoms strongly. Beta particles. Beta particles have a charge of minus one and a mass of about one per two thousands of protons. This means that beta particles are the same of an electron. We can write them beta minus or because they have the same as an electron written in isotope notation as minus one beta power zero. There are fast and light. Beta particles have a medium penetrating power. They are stopped by a sheet of aluminium or plastic. Beta particles ionize atoms that they pause but not strongly as a alpha particle do. Gamma waves. Gamma rays are waves not a particles. This means that they have a no mass and no charge. Gamma rays have a high penetrating power so it takes a thick sheet of metal such as lead or concrete to reduce them significantly. Gamma rays do not directly ionize other atoms also they have they may have cash atoms to emit other particles which will they cash ionization. We don't find pure gamma source. Gamma rays are emitted also alongside alpha or beta particles. Strictly speaking, gamma emission is not a radioactive decay because it does not change the state of the nucleus. It just carries over the some energies. Particles that ionize other atoms strongly have a low penetrating power because they lose energy each time they ionize an atom. Therefore, alpha particles are easy to stop and gamma rays are hard to stop. These are the examples. Alpha, first one is alpha particles to stop by the using of paper. Second one is beta particle. Beta particles used to stop the aluminum sheet. Third one is gamma rays. Gamma rays used to, uh, stopped used to by the lead sheet or concrete. Next one is nuclear decay reactions. Some elements are naturally unstable. They stand to undergo alpha decay or beta decay to become a more stable. They may have to take several steps in order to achieve this. Thus, we observe decay chains for most radioactive elements. For example, it takes uranium-238. It's a 14 steps of alpha and beta decay to become a completely stable. Identification of alpha and beta decay reactions. Alpha decay. Alpha decay is an one process that unstable atom can use to become a more stable. During alpha decay, an atom nucleus sets two protons and two neutrons in a packet that their science is called alpha particles. Since an atom loses two protons during alpha decay, it can changes from one element to another. For example, after undergoing alpha decay, an atom of uranium becomes an atom of thorium. The reaction above uh, would be written as uranium-238 undergo the alpha decay, thorium-234 is formed and then a helium is uh, emitted. Here the helium uh, molecule is called uh, alpha particles. Next one is beta decay. During the beta decay a neutron turns into a proton and an electron. The electron is emitted and, uh, emitted and it's called a uh, beta particle. The reaction is written in below. Next one is fission and fusion. Fission is the process of splitting at an atom. Fusion, the nuclear fusion is a process by which multiple small atomic nuclei join together to form a heavier nucleus. Thank you.